The Washington Post not alone here. The New York Times reporting a similar story, Kevin, and there has been some pushback against this. So give me some clarity on the actual policy discussion that is or isn't happening in the White House behind you. Welcome to political season. Look, there's virtually zero chance that in a divided Congress heading into a 2020 election, uh, both presidential and down ballot races, that there would be any type of meaningful additional tax reform, particularly when Democrats are running on the notion that the last tax reform package only benefited the wealthy. What you're seeing now is a recalculation on behalf of administration officials as they grapple with the debate that is occurring amongst the economic world. There's a new business business leaders survey out that puts now the risk for a potential recession by the end of 2020 or 2021 even at about hovering in the mid 30 percent. So this is now an open discussion and open debate. In addition to hearing about additional tax cuts, look for the White House to also make a case out of 401k and retirement savings. Look for them to try to incentivize businesses by lowering taxes for corporations to remain here in the United States. But it's all part of a broad trend here. In terms of the global economy, the president, set to be meeting with world leaders in the next couple of days, is going to have to address the situation in Europe as well as Asia. Jonathan? And Kevin, also this administration, before they even meet world leaders this weekend, could be meeting with more business leaders as well this week. Kevin, you and I have touched on this. I just wonder how important this is, or whether it's just started to play out but a little bit more publicly, that the C-suite in America is starting to push a little bit more harder against the trade policies of this administration. Yes, absolutely. I mean, look no further than Apple. I mean, I, I think the bottom line here is that the as the debate continues on with uh, the prospects for whether or not there will be a recession in the next two years, that is, is in, in some ways, I don't want to use the word leverage, but I think just illustrates the new reality for President Trump as he heads into re-election, but also as he continues to negotiate these trade deals.